today we're talking about cleaning syringes. So if you just finish vaccinating your cows, uh, you need to clean your syringes after. So if you're taking them into your house or if you have a sink in your barn, uh, the first thing you need to do is wash the outside of the syringe to make sure you get rid of any fuel or dirt or debris that accumulated from when you were working. The outside is clean. The next step would be to detach the barrel from the plunger. And you want to rinse the plunger and the barrel with hot water. It may take a few times to rinse that barrel to get everything clean. You do want to make sure that if you use only hot water, not boiling water, because that can actually Once everything is clean, you want to make sure you set it somewhere clean to air dry. And another, another helpful protocol would be to have two separate syringes. So one for your bacterial vaccines and then one for your modified live vaccines. The reason for this is some of the ingredients in the bacterial vaccines can denature the modified live vaccine. So if you were Say it's brand new day, and you were giving both a bacterial vaccine and a modified live vaccine, and they ran up at the same time, you set them in the after you to go get your blood to be filled, picked it up, and said, ooh, which one was the bacterial, which one was the modified live, and you accidentally um, mixed them up and put a modified live vaccine in that spring you were using the bacterial vaccine, that can denature it and render that infected. And so some suggestions for that would be to label them like we have done. So this one's for bacterial, this one's for modified live. You can get different colors for the ends. Just anything to keep it clear so you don't um, have a mix-up that could potentially cause, uh, have an impact on your health or things like that.